I want to teach you guys a quick technology for breakthrough. The idea of breakthrough comes from the fact that you are in captivity and that's why you need to break through. And I've explained previously, we break through from chains and fetters. We break through doors and we break through gates according to scriptures. Every child of God represented on this altar Jeez. has something in their life, an area, a dimension that you are trusting God to break through from. It can be in your health. It can be in your finances. It can be in your marriage. It can even be in your business. It can be on your children. Every single person has a place, a way, an area that you are trusting God for breakthrough. Psalm 137, there is a technology for breakthrough trapped in that scripture that if we are wise as God's children, we can extract it and use it as it pertains our specific pain areas. The Bible says, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yeah, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there, where? There, in the place of breakthrough. It says, for there, in verse 3, for there, they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Verse 4 asks a very, very important question. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? When you are in captivity and you need to break through, although it's spiritual, the fact remains you are in a strange land. It is no different than the children of Israel being carried away to Babylon. And they are trusting God to break them away from the oppressors and take them back to the the land that he promised them, the land flowing with milk and honey, Jerusalem. So if it is in your finances, if it's in your health, if it's in your business, you are in a strange land. And verse 4 re 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 reveals something you can do to get God's attention. Verse 3 says, for there, they that carried us away captive. That captivity, that situation in your health, in your finances, mocks at you. And he says, sing us one of the songs of Zion. And your response should be to sing. To sing. Because when you sing, not only do you silence that captivity, you get God's attention. How shall we sing the Lord's song? The Lord's song is any song that glorifies and magnifies God. That is what gets God's attention. So that he can remember his child and break you through that hold, that hold of captivity. This afternoon, this evening, you are going to sing. You're going to find a song that you love, a song that you can call it the Lord's song. It's the last prayer point we are praying before we get into the session, but it's going to be a song, a singing session. You just sing your own song in your own place with that captivity, area of captivity in mind. If it is health, you're thinking of it. If it is in your finances, you're thinking of it. If it's in your business, you think whatever the area is, 
sing the Lord's song and get God's attention and see what happens. How shall we sing the Lord's song? How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? That strange land, that's exactly what you need to do to sing the Lord's song. So we're all going to unmute. You find your own song, I find my own song. And for the next two minutes, everybody just sings their own song. You sing it to God as it pertains to this area of captivity that you need a breakthrough from. And let's see what God does. Can we try? 